Hi, this is Matthew Kaufman with TechUrchin.com, and in this tutorial we're going to learn some uh, header tags and aligning text. Uh, this one's going to be real short, it's going to be real simple, so stick with me as I go. Uh, we're going to go with our regular HTML setup. Same thing that we've been doing for the last little bit. If you haven't been following me in the previous tutorials, I would advise you go back through the other ones. Unless you, uh, unless you know what I'm doing. If you know what I'm doing, then stick with me now. But uh, if you do need to get some background on what I'm typing in here, and if you're having trouble keeping up, um, you might want to back up into my previous tutorials. All right, now what we're going to do here is we're, we're going to start off just throwing a paragraph. Um... We're, this is just going to be our example, so let's hop over to our browser and load it up. So we have our paragraph there. That's our example text. That's regular text, nothing special about it. Um, that's going to allow us to break it up. That's why I put the paragraphs there, so I don't have to put um, break lines. I can just say paragraph, and it'll go ahead and break it up for us. Now we're going to play with header tags. Um, header tags, they go from H1 to H6 h1 being the largest, h6 being the smallest, and I'll have each of those aligned out for you so we can look at them. So we'll go ahead and put um, header 1 on there, and make sure, you, oop, make sure you give that a save, hop over, look at that, and there's header 1. Uh, notice it's quite a bit larger, and uh, it is nice and bold. And that's just a quick way to throw like a, a kind of a title to maybe a paragraph or you can actually have it as a, a title to a website. It's a useful um, designation there. Just say H1. You don't have to say, you know, a specific text size or make sure that it says bold or anything like that. You just say H1 and it's good to go. It's a nice, large title. Now let's go ahead and put H2. And this is header 2, hop over, and header 2 is a decent amount uh, smaller. And so we see we can use that for like a title on a paragraph, like right before a paragraph if, we, if we're doing it in a block um, format. And we'll go ahead and do uh, the rest of them here so we can see what they all look like. H3. H four H five. Now what you'll notice with um H five and H six um, is that they are actually smaller than the original text. Let me fix this. For those of you who are OCD and notice that, I apologize. Save that, hop on over, give it a reload. H5 and H6 are smaller than the original text. So it's not always useful, but it can be useful sometimes. Um, it is still bold, so it might come in handy here and there, but um, H4 through, uh, or 1 through 4 can be really useful for putting uh, just titles to different things on your page, and it depends on what kind of a page you're, you're developing that, that you might need them for different uses. Um, if you're a blogger, um, some of these headers can be really useful if you're splitting up a, a, a blog post with uh, different headings, um, say like you're uh, doing like a one, two, three, and you want to make sure that um, those are popping out real, um, real bold and real large, and you can do like a header two for that within your blog post, and those come out real nice. Now, if you need to center or um, align it to the left or to the right, or if you want to justify some text, uh, it's as simple as adding the align equals. Let's do center. 
and go ahead and give that a save, hop on over, give a reload, and we're aligned center. It's as simple as that to add in your alignment. Um, I just thought I'd add it, that in there so that if you ever do need to center some text, especially with like a title like this, um, you can have that tool uh, on you. Now, there are a lot of other tags that we can add in there, and we can play around with some more later on. Uh, but we're going to stick with that for now. And that's all I've got for the, the header uh, text and formatting. Uh, that'll be all for this tutorial, and we'll go back at it with some hypertext in the next video.